Images from the deep. Images painted by sound. Sophisticated acoustic sensors making possible what had been impossible. One of the places that we started was the underwater vision, really the, the 2D streaming imagery. And those products allow operators of ROVs or of divers to work in any water clarity condition. So in black water conditions where you can't see your hand in front of your face, those guys can put on a heads up display, hook it into the sonar, and spin around and effectively see underwater. Underwater eyes, now widely employed for port security, by the military and for underwater construction by the oil and gas industry. We're producing a three-dimensional measurement system. A system accurate enough for spool piece metrology, the complex connection of undersea pipe sections. If you miss one of these spools, that's about a million dollars of expense. This is one of the older models. Blueview founder Lee Thompson tells how a few passing salmon inspired the idea that became Blueview. We were working on some uh, applied research uh, developing high resolution imaging systems um, for, for Navy projects. Small size, uh, low power, high performance imaging systems. I remember one, in particular one day um, we were testing down at the barge uh, at the university and there were about a hundred salmon underneath the bridge that we were imaging and watching them swim in real time. I remember looking out the window of the barge and seeing it was just flat calm. He had no idea the salmon were there and I realized we had something really different and significant there. What Lee Thompson and his colleagues had was new technology. The previous approach was a mechanical scanning approach. We had a windshield wiper effect where it took one to two seconds to create an image, a single frame. With our technology, you were getting 15 frames a second. So you were getting a single image um, every time you transmitted. And so you had streaming vision, so you could watch motion. So moving targets didn't blur. That key Blueview technology was developed by Thompson and his colleagues at APLUW. APL is a great environment, very, very collaborative and collegiate. There was a uh, tremendous excitement around discovery, and, and but not just discovery for discovery's sake, but discovery for application, hence Applied Physics Lab. There was a lot of support. And there's also um, a, a strong interest in commercialization. Solving the toughest engineering In 2012, Blueview's success led to acquisition so by Teledyne Technologies. But our technology is all around you. Teledyne Technologies, everywhere you look. Blueview brings this wonderful area of acoustic imaging to our portfolio of underwater acoustic technology. Where you the Teledyne Alliance greatly expands Blueview's commercial footprint and resource base. There was a sense of being a kid in a candy store because we had all these brand new cool technologies that um, we were encouraged to go work with those other groups and develop synergies and um, we have and it's been great. So you can see how much the size has been reduced. Teledyne Blueview's ascent is reflected by the progress Lee Thompson and his underwater eyes have made in less than a decade. Initially we were able to image out a couple hundred feet or a little better and we've extended that by uh, successive generations up to where now we can we can see out about a thousand feet uh, depending on the target so we've been able to significantly improve over time and we're, we're just actually we're still got another yet another generation of electronics going into our new products right now science at work for you this is APL the applied physics laboratory at the University of Washington in Seattle